education's a good place to start. This is the human capital investment we are making in our posterity rate, our posterity. Again, a bit of a mixed, mixed story. High school graduation rates, boom, from 19, late 1990s to today, up from 71% to 82%. Awesome. If we look at the percentage of kids who are proficient readers or proficient in math at the end of eighth grade, 33%. 33%. You might think of that as a larger number than I do. I think we want a higher percent of our population proficient in reading and math than we're seeing. And it makes me wonder why we'd see a disconnect between this and high school graduation rate. I'm no expert. I'd look for further numbers and further education. But it, it numerically highlights an issue to me. Some people will say, well, you know, this has something to do with the number of teachers we have and the amount of money we're spending on education. We're spending uh, significantly higher, the numbers are in the report, dollars per student on education than we did back in 1980. And in fact, the number of teachers available to serve students has increased over this period of time from about uh, 19 students per teacher, the opposite of the number I just gave you, to about 16 students per teacher. Our student-teacher ratios are improving. And yet our educational outcomes have made some progress, but you can, you can ask yourself whether it's the progress you might have expected. The other thing I would say is prevailing wisdom, at least in the press, seems to be that our student-teacher ratios are getting worse when in fact uh, they're actually improving. 